Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. We've got Katie on camera. Say hello, Katie. Hello. And hopefully we'll do it right this time. Look, I've done this already a few times. We're doing Agapanthus. There we are. Right, let me get on with it. Today we are talking about Agapanthus. We're at the end of the summer in the UK, it's September, and as you can see, a garden is not just for summer. Katie, spin over here. Look, look at all these cyclamen coming up now, coming into autumn. This is what you've got to do with your garden. You've got to have something of interest every single month of the year, every day. It changes every day. Anyway, back to the Agapanthus. They have given us a beautiful display this summer. They've got lovely big ball flowers. Now, if you've grown them for the first time, um, and you um, are unsure as to what to do with them, um, I'm going to show you now. Now what's happening at the moment is this plant is still growing, it's still photosynthesizing, it's still um, taking in sunlight and turning it into sugars etc and it's producing seed. Now we don't, if you don't want it to produce seed, um, this is a sort of waste of energy. You could be getting the plant to put all that energy into growing the roots. Now if you do want seed, Leave the seed pot on, wait for the seed to come, the plant will be fine. But if we want to give it a bit of an extra boost for next year, we're going to cut this seed pot out. So for this you need a pair of secateurs and a pair of glasses if you can't see the nose in front of your face. Do you know what I did a minute ago? I managed to pinch the inside of my thigh with that bit of my glasses. They, I, I had them on my lap and then they, it really hurts. I wouldn't recommend it. Right, Katie, if you can spin in. What we do is, this. here's the seed pot here. Let people see the seed pot. These are the flowers that have finished. These are the seed pods where the seeds are forming inside. If you leave these, these will dry out and you can use the seed to grow more agapanthus with. So anyway, we're coming right down to the base here. And I'm just going to cut it off like that. That is it. Now we're going to check around this plant. Now all different sized plants, look, look at this one. Just in a nine centimetre pot, the leaves are looking a bit yellow now, which is indicating that this plant is quite hungry. And I'm not surprised it's hungry, because it's done all this effort into growing all these um, seeds and everything. So we're going to chop him out as well. And as you can see on this one, the leaves are looking a little bit tatty. Um, so it doesn't matter how many leaves are left really, just keep a few on there, but just uh, snip off the nasty bits. And then what we're gonna do with these two plants, I've got a big one here as well. Look at this big one. And there's a couple of the seed pods from last year that I cut back. Katie, can you show? Look, see, this is what happens. They just, they just come off like that. They, you could do this earlier in the year, but. But these are the ones that were cut back last year. So they do sort of dry out by themselves and sort themselves out. So again, we come in here, give it a snip, go over to the next one, and just snip it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Pull out a few of the weeds, and then I scrape off a bit of the soil on the top. Now, agapanthus enjoy root restriction. Well, they, it encourages them to flower. And so we keep them in a pot that's very tight. You know, you really want the roots to start sort of pushing on the outside before you, top them, before you pop them up. Also, once they get big, you can split them. And I will probably be splitting this one next year. But I do it in the spring because you want to be splitting plants and damaging them in this way where you create big wounds and at a time when the plant is coming into its growing season because then it's much more likely to be able to recover and heal that wound quicker and stop any infection getting in there. And we'll just tidy this one up a little bit with, um, there you are, Katie, just show them. There we go. Just chopping off these nasty bits of leaves, making sure that the rest of the leaves are quite clean as well. It's important for the plant to be able to photosynthesize well. And now we're going to give it a little bit of food. Anything that you grow in a pot, anything that you grow in a pot will eventually run out of nutrition. Water is okay. It can do stuff with water. It can photosynthesize, turn the water and the carbon in the air into sugars that the plant feeds on. But there are basic nutritional things, nitrogen, phosphates, things like this that the plant needs to grow healthily. And so what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little bit of a feed with a slow release fertilizer. Um, this is a Q4 pellets. It's uh, recognized by the Royal Horticultural Society as an organic fertilizer. Yeah, read the instructions, see how much you've got to put on. I'm just going to put a bit on like this. Make sure it doesn't touch the leaves or the roots because it can actually burn them a little bit. And that's it. And then I'm going to just top this up a little with some, um, all I've got here is a little bit of topsoil with some sand in it. But you can use a bit of multi-purpose compost with some sand. Don't use something that's peat free. And there we are. Now I'm going to leave that in an unheated greenhouse, but you can leave them outside on your patio, you can leave them anywhere, as long as they are hardy varieties of agapanthus. And this is a deciduous one, so the leaves will completely die away in the winter. If you're growing them for the first time, your agapanthus completely dies back at the end of summer, or in the end of autumn, don't worry, this is part of the plant's natural cycle, and it indicates that the plant is a lot hardier than one that doesn't lose its leaves, so it'll take a good frost. 
And that's it, basically. That's how to look after your Agapanthus. This has been Robbie Phoenix down at Stinky Ditch Nursery with Katie on camera looking over there. Why are you looking over there? Oh, I thought someone was coming. Thanks for watching. <laughs>